Create with me, Mrs. Enzinger. Today I'm going to show you Crayolography, which is just Crayola markers and calligraphy. Calligraphy is just a fancy way to write letters. So you're going to use your own handwriting with Crayola markers to create this quote by Henry Matisse, Creativity Takes Courage. So get out your papers and get out some Crayola markers and let's create. You're going to need at least three pieces of grid or blank paper and Crayola markers. Let's start getting used to our markers and practice some techniques. Find a marker that is newer and not misshapen. Try to just let the pointy part of the marker touch your paper. Make vertical downward strokes all the way across. Now we're going to go horizontal, left to right. Create a dashed line all the way across, still trying to just use the pointed part of the marker. Now let's make thin vertical strokes again, but we're gonna start at the bottom and pull up. Now that we just did the thinnest lines possible with our markers, Let's try to make the widest, thickest lines possible with our marker. You want to try to angle your marker so the full tip of the marker is touching your paper. I'm trying to make the thickest, widest line I can. Now for your next row, start from the bottom and pull up. Again, still trying to get the entire marker tip to touch the paper. Now I want you to find somewhere in between. Try to find a medium thickness. So you're not pushing the marker tip all the way down to the paper, maybe just gently, so it's a little thicker than your thin lines, but not quite as thick as your thickest lines above. Let's put both types of lines together, but in a loop. It's going to look like a cursive E. I go thin curve up, thick wrap around, thin curve up to the right, thick wrap around left. Gentle and light pressure up, apply medium to heavy pressure when coming back around. You can lift up your marker or have all the loops connect. We're going to do the same thing, but looping downward and having the thickness on the right. So I'm going to curve up and over, and as I swoop down, I'm going to make it thick and then thin on the way up. Curve down, thin on the way up. Push down, thin on the way up. You can either try making it through all one motion, or press thick down, lift up your marker carefully and then try the thin on the way up. Now let's try waves. We're gonna make a thin curve up, but then press heavier down to the right. Thin curve up, press a little firmer and heavier down on the right. Let's go back to practicing our thick straight lines. We're going to make a thick diagonal down all the way across our paper. Now, let's make a thick diagonal line up. Try a few thin diagonals with the pointy part of your marker. on another piece of blank paper or graph paper. Let's practice our actual lettering. I'm going to write out the phrase, creativity takes courage, which is a quote by Henry Matisse. I'm putting this up here, that way I know which letters I need to practice. I'm going to start with a capital C. So I'm gonna press gentle and thin up and then press heavy when I come back down. 
Continue to practice your letter C until you're happy with how it turned out. Now let's practice a capital letter R. Thick line top to bottom, thin bump in, thin line out. Next is a capital letter E. Thick line top to bottom, three horizontal thin lines. Now let's practice a capital A. I'm going to make a thick diagonal line to the left, thin line to the right, and then a thin line across. Practicing our capital T's now. Thick vertical top to bottom line, thin horizontal across the top. Capital I is almost the same as a capital T. You need the vertical thick line in the middle and then a thin line at the bottom and the top. To create the letter V, we're going to make a downward diagonal thick and then an upward diagonal thin. The next two letters in the word creativity are I and T again but we don't need to practice those again. So let's move on to the letter Y. This time, we're going to make the right-hand side of the letter thicker, and then the left shorter arm of the Y thin. Now we're going to learn a little bit of cursive. Let's practice the letter T for the word takes. All you need to do is scoop up, straight up, and curve down like a wave. Don't forget to cross your T's. After you're comfortable with the letter T, let's move on to the letter A. It's very similar to your printed A, but with more of a curve on the tail. A cursive K is very fancy. It almost looks like a ribbon or a bow. You scoop up, back left, loop around front, and kick down. Cursive E is so easy. It's just a loop. For a cursive S, you scoop up to the right, come back in, and then come back out. It almost looks like a sail on a sailboat. Now let's try to connect all of our letters. Practice this a few times. Make sure that each bottom curve leads into the next letter. Take your time, you don't need to rush. You can even spread out your letters a little more. Think of it as two ends of a string. You're pulling the one end to the left and the other end to the right, stretching your letters out just a bit. Now let's practice the letters in the word courage. We already practiced the letter C, so let's practice a capital O. It's very similar to the capital C, but just bring your thin line all the way around to connect. Next letter is a capital U. I'm going to start thick on the left and then thin on the right. You can draw this in all one motion or use two strokes to create it. The next letter we haven't practiced is a capital G. It's almost the same as a capital C, but with a short horizontal line coming up at the end. Now it's time to write our quote. I first wrote it on a sticky. That way I make sure I spell all of my words correctly. I have my markers in order of the colors I want to use. So I'm going to start with pink for the letter C in creativity. Now I'm going to use red for the letter R. Remember, take your time, go slow. Now I'm going to use orange for E. Now I'm going to use yellow for A. 
Remember, thick stroke on the left, thin on the right. I have a nice yellow green for the T. I have another green for I. Now I'm going to use teal for V. I have a blue marker for another I. Purple for T. And another purple for the Y. And remember, thick stroke on the right now. Now I really want the word creativity to stand out, so I'm going to switch to black for the word takes. We're going to write this in cursive. So again, take your time on the word takes. It also changes the emphasis of the word and makes your handwriting piece look more interesting. Now I'm going to center the word courage right below. It doesn't have as many letters as creativity, so I'm not going to start all the way to the left, but it does have some rounder, wider letters, so I'm not going to start too far in the middle either. To give credit to Henry Matisse's quote, so let's write his name down here. Henry Matisse was a French artist known for his colorful and simplistic style paintings. Great job! Now that we've finished hand lettering the quote, Creativity Takes Courage by Henry Matisse, let's add some shape and line design. To show balance, I'm going to use the rainbow colors around the black letters and then black around the rainbow colors. I'm going to use the same colors in the same order so my work looks cohesive. I'm going to keep my design simple so it doesn't take away from my letters. I'm going to start with some circles that gradually get smaller as they wrap around. Now I'm going to take my black marker and draw a variety of lines all around the word creativity. Keep them simple and small. Thanks for learning Crayolography with me today. Remember, creativity takes courage and you did just that. I hope you learned something new to do with your Crayola markers and that words can be art.